everybody. Right. We're here. Oh, hey, see, everyone. I can see come some comments on there. Okay, can yeah. I see comments? Welcome mm -hmm. to our live. It has been way too long. Yes. We are so excited to be on here again. And today, I hope you guys are okay, but you're getting the entire family today. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So I think um, some of you might be new. I know we had a question and answer. Um, gosh, has it been months now? Yeah, it, we did that question and answer kind of near the beginning. So it's been a while. It's been months, I think. So um, here we are again. Some of you might be new to the family. So I'm Matt, which I think most of you know Matt and Savannah, <laughs> if you're on <laughs> our channel. But then we've got Eric. Say hi, bud. Hey. Hey. How you doing? <laughs> And then we've got cute little Penny Jean. Hi. <laughs> and then we've got Mom. Brooke. Brooke. And then uh, we've Easton. We've got this handsome dude. <laughs> His name is? I'm Easton. Say hi to the people, Easton. Hi, everyone. <laughs> we can um, see the questions so on the computer. That's OK. That's we'll right. watch them on here. We're trying to pull up a computer so we can watch your questions a little bit better but we are just gonna do our best to try to follow along on the phone. So hello everybody, tell us where you're from. Um, Kaula Lumpur, I'm not sure where that is, but that sounds really far away from Arcaseville, Utah. But <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. So we wanted to answer some questions, kind of give an update on what's been going on in our crazy lives since this happened. Um, so, gosh, since our last question and answer, so much has happened. Yeah, a lot has happened. What, what can we tell them about what has happened? Well, we tell them where, where, were, where were we at during the last question and answer? I think you guys were still just posting songs to YouTube. Yeah, it was, yeah, we start, yeah, I don't think we had anything recording on iTunes or recording, yeah. Yeah. We, um, yeah, gosh, we've come a long way. So now we have songs out on iTunes, which has been so crazy. We're getting so many fun opportunities. We've been able to be on Good Morning America and Inside Edition, and we got to meet Kelly Clarkson, and it's just been an amazing wild ride. And I think one of the biggest things that we've wanted to do with, um, with this opportunity to say hi and talk to you guys is just to... Thank you all so much for your support, um, for the amazing opportunities that, that you have given us um, from your support. You know, I, um, a, a little bit of our story, can we share some of our story, the background to the music, would that be okay? Yeah, go ahead. So, just so you guys kind of know, um, maybe I'll start with me, just my background. I. Um, sang in high school and college, but then I kind of put it all aside. Because you had a family, you had a job. That's right, Eric, because I had a family and a job. Um, and, uh, and my dreams kind of changed a little bit. Um, it's not that I had bad dreams. My dreams were to uh, have a family and, and be able to provide for the family. And so the singing dreams kind of went away for a little while. But... Um, it wasn't until Savannah um, asked me to sing with her in this video, the prayer, our very first video that we posted, um, that kind of brought those dreams back to life for me, but in so much of a more meaningful and um, just impactful way for me. Because now I'm being able to live my dreams, but with my daughter. And so it's just a, yeah, it's just an amazing opportunity. And a lot of this is here and available to us because of you guys mm -hmm. and your support. So Savannah, tell me your background story. I took voice lessons when I was five years old. So I was about Penny Jean's age right here. She just barely turned six. So I took voice lessons for about a year. And then I stopped voice lessons to play the harp. So I played the harp for a big portion of my life. And it got to the point where I also did ballet. Um, ballet was also a huge part of my life, but it got to the point where 
I had to really decide what I was passionate about and what I really loved. And I chose to go back to singing. And that's I, when I started taking voice lessons again. I was 13. And I am naturally a very shy person. And it's kind of hard for me to put myself out there. So I like posting the prayer and having it turn into what it has become has been such an amazing and cool opportunity for me because what I've learned from this whole thing is how important it is to just be brave and just take that little leap and do something that's really scary because you really never know what could happen and how many lives you could be affecting. And so if you're out there and you're like me and you're kind of a shy, scared person, I encourage you guys to get out there and do something really scary and maybe a little bit hard because it it's always it always has a good um, ending to it. It does. Yeah. You have to be brave. Lots of people are commenting on that too. That's so fun. Yeah. Um, your words to be brave are an inspiration. That's awesome. We're getting a lot of questions coming in and I'm trying to watch them. So I promise you we are gonna do our best to answer your questions. Um, we're getting a lot of them, so I'll catch the ones that we can. But we get asked, does anyone else in the family sing? And so um, for this next thing, we're going to ask Easton to sing his favorite song. Go ahead, bud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited for you guys to hear this because it's so good. Okay, bud. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. Um, yeah, I mean, Eric would sing. Would you sing, bud? Sing it's, O Sole Mio, that's really good. Sing just the Star Wars song or something. I am a lovely person. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow, that was really good. So I hope that answers the question. <laughs> uh, uh, Penny sings. <gasps> Penny sings a little bit, but nobody has taken to singing or found an interest or passion for it the way Matt and Savannah have. Yeah. So it's kind of fun that that's just something that they share together and something that they enjoy and the rest of us are able to support them in it. So Yeah. We're, we are getting questions about what the boys like to do. So, Easton. You answer that. Tell them what you like to I know what you like to do. But you tell them what you like um, to do. Um Well, <laughs> well, yeah, the I the things that Eric and I do together are we like to go fishing and um we, we love to play Legos or jump on the tramp and go swimming. Just you know, a, lot of, a lot of things outside of the house. We, we have these electric scooters. I don't know, any of you that live in Kaysville have probably seen us once or twice <laughs> on our electric scooters. Yeah, Dollar Tree. Eric loves to go to Dollar Tree. <laughs> um, yeah, Dollar Tree is the best. Every That's morning right. they wake up and get their stuff done here and then they pack up they have these backpacks with fishing poles sticking out the back and scooter down to the lake scooter down to the Kaysville pond and fish yep all the live long day <laughs> so yeah. that, that is what the boys like to do we did get asked if we ever fight who wants to answer <laughs> that question <laughs> yeah we do we fight yeah, yes we do fight what? Eric and I fight a lot. No, yeah. well, not much. Not we, much. we sometimes not much. get along. <laughs> we, we sometimes get along. Sometimes. Yeah, there you we're, go. Like today we are. That's yeah. good. Yeah. I'm glad. Yeah, that's good. So we're, a we're just like family, any other family. Just like yeah, everybody we else. Totally, yeah. Our <laughs> normal people and um, fight everyone except for me because I never fight but everyone else pretty much does you wrestled me <laughs> oh that's well that's true so yeah. um, wrestling is fighting people <laughs> have been wondering where we have been recently where our videos are yeah oh yeah that, we need to talk about that don't we yeah we've had a lot of people ask where are you guys what happened where's your music so we are here today to answer that question. So it's been a little while. The last song that we posted was Come What May, which was so fun to do. That was a pretty song. Um, and then it's been a little while since we've, we've posted that. And so I think we can tell people we are um, working on putting together an, an album. album, which is so exciting. And 
we have most of the songs picked, some of which came from you guys. So thank you so much for your recommendations. I think a lot of them came from you guys. Um, some of them, we're going to tease the album a little bit here coming up. So we're hoping to have some songs released very, very soon. Some very exciting ones. One of them came from a poll that we saw. Is that too much info? On the fan page. On the fan page. So thank you everyone for um, uh, giving us those suggestions. But yeah, it's taken us a little bit of time to um, start working on the album. And now we're, we're hoping to get back to doing our more regular releases now that we've had some time to kind of um, work on some songs that we don't plan, release, plan on releasing until the album comes out. We've been spending a lot of time in the recording studio. Oh, people are like guessing. <laughs> you guys are really good because I've seen several of our songs <laughs> that you guys have guessed already. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Um, that means, yeah, they, you, you'll be happy with, with our songs. So I've gotten, I've seen someone ask how old everyone is several times. So Easton, how old are you? I'm 13. Tell the truth. I'm oh, okay. She's... <laughs> Do you want I'm... to tell people how old you are, Ben? Yeah, I'm 35. <laughs> Best looking 35 ever. Thank you. <laughs> Penny how old Jean. Are you? I'm six. She's six. And then that would be you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll be 16 in how many weeks? Two. Two. On August. 4th. August 4th. So very. Big soon. 16. <laughs> wow. And then, Eric, how old are you, bud? I'm the oldest one here, so I'm 41. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm 11. He's 11, and I am 39. Matt will be 40 in one week. In exactly one week. July 26th. 40 over years Over the old. hill. Gosh. Best-looking best looking almost 40-year-old there is. Thanks, babe. How many of you agree? <laughs> Raise your hand if you agree. Oh, stop it. Um... <laughs> Can anyone guess what Savannah is wearing? A dress. Sweatpants! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> She's not. She's wearing jeans. <laughs> um, so that, some people are saying that old enough to drive in, oh, I thought you were talking about me. Yeah, Savannah will be old enough to drive here in a couple weeks. Um, yes, July 26, I will be 40 years old, and I, um, yeah, super weird to be 40. Um, but I'm excited about it. Penny Jean, this is the other thing why we, we had a little bit of time off here because some of you already know this, but Penny Jean had her tonsils out. Huh? Mm -hmm. They were so big, they were touching. And so she had to have some surgery never tonsils out. And we had your peekaboo ear fixed, huh? <laughs> you want to tell them about your ear? <laughs> a lot of people ask what a peekaboo ear is. That's just what we started calling it. It was sort of an endearing thing that we called it because her left ear was growing out like this and her right ear was growing flat up against her head. And so we decided that we would have this cute little peekaboo ear fixed. So they pinned it back. Peekaboo. And now, <laughs> now, now they're symmetrical. Huh, show them how good it's looking. You pin yeah. your head, show them how and great your ear is. Penny looks. has been a champ. She, she has been really, really good. But that's another one of the reasons why we haven't had um, our, our, you know, like regular release schedule, I guess you could say. Um, Let's see, what grades are the kids doing? And we, do we do homeschool? So, yeah, so um, our kids are all in homeschool right now because it's summer. But then they normally go to normal public school. Um, we don't know what that's going to look like, though. With COVID and everything going on, we have no idea what school is going to look like or how they're going to do that. There's a lot of talk. So we're just enjoying the family time and the time together right now. And school is right around the corner, but I'm not sure how that's going to work. Homeschool is really difficult though. And so uh, we've learned that it's harder than we think. And Imagined. 
or kind of it has it's, it has its pros and cons. I think when all of them were going to public school, we had these four kids were in four different schools. So Savannah was in high school, Easton Junior High, and then Eric was at the public school elementary, and mm -hmm. Penny was at a private school. So yeah, that was rough. When all of that came to a screeching halt because of, because of COVID and we had them all at home, it simplified a lot of things for us, but there were definitely challenges too, and we realized just how much we appreciate our teachers. <laughs> so, to all it, of the teachers watching, we are so thankful for you. We love you. Seriously. <laughs> so much, thank you. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> teachers are awesome. <laughs> oh, okay, so we're trying to get to some questions too. So the next question I saw was, does Savannah date? That's a hard no. <laughs> Any other questions? <laughs> Do you date? Um, I mean, a little, a little bit, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm turning 16 soon, so I'm still young. I've been out on a few dates, but that's, that's about it. <laughs> but you'd be happy to. But date. I'd be happy to date. Yeah. Yeah. I would not be happy, though, <laughs> to have her date, but we'll see. The guys have to answer a very, very strict set of questions when they come over. Uh, that is not true. It's a little true. A little, little true. Not true. A little true. When did you tell me? <laughs> All right. You're not like a package. Can you start a family channel? We've thought about doing that. That would be We've so fun. We've thought about doing some... Vlogs like some more family posts to the instead we of just really the sure what people want to see if they're just here for the the duets do you like mainly seeing the duets do you want to see more solos you know be, with matt and savannah do you want to see more of the family and some of our adventures and things that we do together we're happy yeah. to give people what what they'd like to see. We're not really <laughs> sure what that is. If you so, guys um, want some vlogs or if you have any video ideas that you guys would like to see, feel free to message us on any social media platform. We thought about starting a channel just for Easton's hair. <laughs> what? <laughs> like Easton hair channel. I don't know. <laughs> Easton, where are you, where are you going, bud? Show him your hair. Questions. Come on. Okay, Easton. Yeah, look at this hair. Easton does <laughs> it's too have good. really nice hair. <laughs> it's too good. Yeah. Uh, Easton's, Easton's going to help us read some questions because it's hard to see yeah, that. Yeah, we can't really see. <laughs> Matt, any formal training? Uh, yes. Back in, so I, um, yes, I took voice lessons um, in high school from Evelyn Harris. Um, she was phenomenal. I love Evelyn. Um, mm -hmm. Took from her in college as well and um, which was part of my uh, vocal scholarship in college but then then I I, I kind of I didn't stop singing for a while um, I do it every once in a while but really I, I stopped singing until this started so that's kind of the extent of my vocal training Savannah's taking lessons from and Savannah and I both are now in lessons with Linda Tompkinson um, who teaches all over the world, by the way. So if anyone wants voice lessons, uh, people have asked us all the time if we teach voice lessons. We definitely do not. I, Linda's a magician with the voice. I could never do what she does. So if you're looking at voice lessons, so um, we've got connections. What my dad and I do, it's called speech level singing. So it's supposed to, how would you describe that? Um, it's like, yeah, I'm gonna let you describe that. <laughs> no, it's just a, it's it's a really great way to um, sing properly so that your voice um, connects um, completely. And I guess that's the easiest way to say it. Um, Who plays the piano? We've gotten oh, asked that great. a bunch yes. of times. Have we? Okay, yeah. good. Thank you, Easton. Um, Stephen Nelson is our piano player mm -hmm. and arranger, and he is phenomenal he's amazing just so so good we're we so lucky to have Steven. Him. He's, he's like he's like our best kept secret but also we want the world to know about him <laughs> like he's really yeah. private just Steven know he's really the private. best he's person hard. out there just don't tell him and if you tell somebody <laughs> tell them not to tell he's kind of hard to find he keeps himself pretty hidden he, he really is kind of the man behind the curtain yeah he is for real yeah um, but you couldn't do what you were doing without him. No, no at all. Absolutely not. He is so, so good. 
Um, uh, some people think that he's the Steven Nelson from the Piano Guys. He is not. Yeah, different Steven it's Nelson. It's a different Steven Nelson. However, they, the two of them know each other really well. But yeah. yeah. Not the same. Okay, what other questions do we have, Easton? I'm Are looking. they coming through too fast? I can't, I can't, read, really fast. The, I can't read the ones. <laughs> um, we've gotten lots of comments about Eric and Penny. Oh, really? Lots. <laughs> oh, that's fun. <laughs> Um, oh, we get we get asked a lot of religion questions, so yeah, we've kind of, of we're getting a lot of those. A lot of them. So we get that we get asked that a that lot. That is our top asked question. So here's the thing with religion. I mean, we've answered this a couple times before, but the reason that we are vague intentionally on religion and politics, and you know, there's just, I mean, my goodness, we're um, getting close to an election and things just get so politicized and um, they are and, and so divisive. And we want people to come to our music and have it be a safe place where you can feel what you want to feel without us pushing um, our beliefs or agenda. And it's not that we're afraid of them, right? It's just... We, um, we want you to take away from the music what you want to. So whatever you feel is right when you yeah. listen to our music. Yeah. yeah. I mean, certainly if people really want to know, they can, they can dig a little bit. It's not like we're hiding it, and we've answered it before. But So I, I hope that makes sense. Um, and, yeah, that's, yeah, that's kind of the answer to that question. <laughs> You've gotten lots of um, questions asking if you get recognized in public. Oh my goodness, you guys, that's so fun. But please never be afraid to say hi, because we, we love it. Um, we do get people who start to recognize us. This has only been going on for like three months, right? And like, yeah, I go places blowing and our minds be, if people recognize yeah. us. We'll go to the grocery store and I'll have like someone looking at me and I'm like, Wait, is there something on It seems on my like face? most people like, are, they're a little more careful about approaching Savannah. Yeah. And it might just yeah. be because of her age. But I really can't go anywhere with Matt <laughs> without planning on being stalked by at least one or two people. Um, which has been, it's been a big change for us. And we always appreciate the support and the excitement from people and and we love that. So please don't be shy if you want to come up and say hi and talk to them. It's been... Um, it's so fun. Hopefully when it's, COVID It's is... been an adventure. Like for me especially, <laughs> I am an introvert and not really the type to uh, be talking to multiple people when I'm out and about. So we're all learning and growing with this, with this new um, reality that we're in. The most common comment I've seen is people asking to hear John Denver songs. John Denver? I totally grew up with John Denver so really music. That was my dad's like John favorite Denver. artist. Yeah, we probably, yeah, great idea. We probably should do some John Denver. That'd be fun for me because that was my dad's favorite. I feel like my dad really likes John Denver Your dad too. does too. Like John Denver and Jane, um, James Taylor. James Taylor. Oh, yeah. love those guys. Mm -hmm. um, Someone asked if it's Steven Nelson from Gentry. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is the exact Go Steven around. Nelson. That's our yes. Steven. You guys know Steven. See, he can't hide anymore because he's in Gentry. So Are you going to try any know. jazz? Yeah. Guys, something that you should know about me is that I am an old soul and I love old music and jazz and like Frank Sinatra and all that stuff. So I'd love to try and do some jazz music. Yeah, and I love love jazz too, so that would be fun. Favorite food? Um, Lots of those. Oh, favorite food. <laughs> Honestly, I'm going to be honest. My favorite food is anything my wife makes. <laughs> he's so oh. nice. It's he's, true. He's telling the truth, too. Like, I am. He's very easy. Matt is very, very easy to please. <laughs> all, he <laughs> <laughs> all he wants is to eat, and he doesn't care what it is, so... I just don't like making food. I'm a lucky woman in that way. <laughs> oh, no, I really do love Brooke's food. So, um, does that go for everyone else? Yes. She? No. We're... No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's asking you guys to sing a song real quick. You guys want us to sing a song real quick? Should we try Love it? is an open door! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's 
There you go, Eric. <laughs> Eric did it, so we're good. Eric's our... Do you want to try it? Eric's no? our cute family clown. <laughs> you could probably bring... Should we try singing? Yeah, just do a... Um, uh, what do, you do, do you guys want us to sing a song? Um, oh, gosh. Dear Evan Hansen, someone talked about. I would love to sing that. Um, yes, yes, yeah, sing. Everyone, everyone wants, wants to sing. <laughs> We can take the phone okay. upstairs. How are we going to do this? I don't want me to take the play, phone up. Do you have the song? You don't have the song. You do. I can just... Oh, I can get it. Sorry, guys. This is really <laughs> can, last Can minute. you tell us what no, no, we should... No, no. Leave it there for a minute. We'll, okay. Well, we're trying to figure out if we can um, sing a song for you. <laughs> we do get asked how we um, record. I have, so that's, I have lip syncing. Oh, you do have it. So here's how... Yeah, lip syncing and stuff. We, we do get asked that all the time. So we recorded our kitchen table, um, the video, and the acoustics in here aren't great. And so what we do is we actually record the song in the closet, and, and so the audio is, is quieter, better. Um, and then we'll bring the camera out here, and we will sing again um, on the video, but then we turn the video audio down and the closet audio up. There's probably a way better, more professional, like technical way to explain what this I'm explaining. This is what we but... <laughs> know how to do, guys. Everyone we... wants you to rewrite this... the stars. Rewrite the stars. Oh, wants. really? I can promise you that we are the most normal, most real people you will ever find. You have worked on rewrite the stars, but that's been a really Kay. hard one. Because <clears throat> yeah, let's talk really... about rewrite the stars. Yeah. Here's the reality, guys. This is what we run into with some of these songs. I love Rewrite the Stars, but it starts with me singing, You Know, you know, I, you know I Want You. <laughs> and it just feels like we can't do We can't do We that. try that so many times, and every time we're like, You Know I Want You. Ah, <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Like, can we like, change the words? You Know I Love you. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> it, none of it feels right. <laughs> uh, we'll work on it. We if will. any of you guys have ideas for us, then we'll, Speechless from Aladdin is a good yeah, idea. That is a good idea. So how, are, are we, we going to try to go sing? Yeah, let's so go Do you sing want me to carry this upstairs? Should we just... The whole thing? Guys, you have to be, you have to be forgiving here. We're going to sing for you, but it's really... really last minute. Last minute, if I forget the words, because it's usually me who forgets, not Savannah. Uh, I'm so sorry. True. Please forgive us. Are we carrying we, this whole thing? Yeah, up? I can like um, plug this thing. Are you guys okay? We're just gonna carry. <laughs> this is so weird. Okay, we're just gonna carry this upstairs. Yep. <laughs> Follow along. We're gonna go upstairs and we'll we'll sing, and <laughs> you can you can have a. I want to see myself. Well, hey, come on up here, bud. There you go. Uh, all right. I'm a little nervous to do this. Yeah, we're going to come up. This is, we're bringing you upstairs. This, yeah, house tour. Sorry. <laughs> we'll sing a song for you. This is where we practice. Right here. And um, some of you saw on social media that... Um, Brooke snuck a video of us singing before. Yeah, I'm gonna try to fix this. Should we turn on the light? Let's oh, it's on. This angle. You want to do Beauty and the Beast? Oh. Yeah, we'll do Just don't press the end button. It'll cut it off. <coughs> All right, we're doing the same Beauty and the Beast. That's our last minute decision. Beauty and the Beast it is. Okay, are you ready? I oh, hope that's okay, everyone. We're doing Beauty and the Beast. Can I, if you can't hear us or something, maybe I'll turn it this way. I can't Ladies figure out how to get this more up, Here. Matt. Like I know. This. Wait, wait. Just um, Easton's got it. Gotta turn this and then you kneel down and see Matt. Easton's got it. Okay. Is that okay? Let's do this. All right, here we go. And then what are we gonna do after we sing?
on one now that's kind of what yeah a, a part of our album thing we would love to have an original and yeah. we've got such a good idea for one and we're so excited started yeah. working on it yesterday started working on it yesterday yeah. so yes yes we are oh someone had chills thank you so much that's that so was, that was lots, of people, lots of lots and lots and lots of people want you guys to sing hallelujah oh yes that's a good we definitely suggestion. will um for sure um can Savannah ask me out? Is that what I just saw? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so we're probably getting close to ending this. Ending this? Does, are there yeah. any other questions? Will um, you guys be going on tour? I don't know. That's a really good question because we would love to. I really, really think it would be fun to go sing live and to share our music. Um, with you like face to face and like to that meet you guys is so energizing yeah. and an amazing experience what we love about our music is just to be able to um, connect and to uplift and to inspire and encourage and we just to it's hard to do that I mean it's the best way to do that is to, is to do that live and I would love yeah to be able to go perform tons of people um, are wondering about America's Got Talent yeah we um, maybe <laughs> is that the best way I don't know uh, it could could happen could not I, I don't know um, yeah we I don't know that's a good question we will <laughs> ride the wave and we'll see where it takes us and yeah yeah we'll take you guys along with us it'll be a fun journey for everyone <laughs> yeah do you have pets? We do have a pet. We have a 
cat. Yeah, we've got a couple geckos. Some geckos. The boys and like their geckos. we have nine chickens. Yeah, we have nine chickens. They're so fun. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you remembered our chickens. Can't leave them out. Um, so thank you all so much for joining us. Um, thank you so much for supporting us and encouraging um, us in our music. Uh, we l love being able to share our music with you guys and um, really thank you guys for making our dreams come true, truly, um, and giving us these opportunities to sing um, and to share our music. And so, any final words from anyone else? Um, I don't think so. I have a question. The giraffes that people are making comments about the, the giraffe. giraffe. Oh, really? We're getting giraffe comments? The giraffe. <laughs> Yes, the giraffe says hi to all of you. <laughs> we do like, uh, are we coming this to the like UK? This is like Penny's playroom and she UK. loves animals. So yeah. that's why we have the giraffe and the elephants and we're yeah. in Penny's hey, you playroom. Got, they want to see your face when you talk, babe. Oh. It's a really nice face. <laughs> Look at that. All right. No, so just just really, give this a moment. Really nice face. So many people <laughs> think that all of the kids look exactly like Matt. Oh, we, can we do a poll? <laughs> we should. One of these days we'll do a poll and we'll be do like, a poll. who looks like who? Yeah. Um, the most. I because I think that Savannah looks like me, um, and I think that Easton probably. Is in between. He's got a lot of my features, but some of Brooks. All right, put our faces together. Scoot them in so they can see. <laughs> Everyone, get your faces. <laughs> okay, in the comments, you can let us know who looks like who the most. Boom, and baby. on that note. <laughs> We'll sign off and say goodbye, but thank you everybody for joining us. We love you guys. Um, just thanks for coming on this wild ride with us, and we're so, so very grateful. See you guys. Bye, See guys. ya. <laughs>